so starts day four. Hey guys. So day four of my epic adventure. Um gonna go cruising down the strip here. So wimpy yesterday. Could do with a nice wimpy coffee and breakfast. Um, thereafter, Jesus, I have to clean my visor. Um, thereafter, I'm going to duck down to Prince George Racetrack. I was there yesterday. Um, you guys missed it. It was fucking funny. I was on it and like just driving like this, and suddenly there was a curb stone. I'm like, well, that's not right took a few corners and I was like, but I know this track um, and I know that it's been used recently because of certain lines that they paint and all that crap um, and I started going on about, oh my god, I found Aldo Scrimanti, Aldo Scrimanti is in Port Elizabeth what I found was Prince George or East London Grand Prix Circuit You guys missed out on a hell of a lot of footage yesterday. It just dawned on me. So what I originally did was I turned down here and I went over like a little harbour. And I was chasing after this Ballyhoo place. There's an old South African band from the 60s, 70s I think called Ballyhoo. My dad was in love with them. Um, I think they made it quite big in the States because of the apartheid thing having to be there. Once again, talking out of my ass as usual. You can fact check it if you want, but you're probably going to just be disappointed. So yeah, here's the bridge. That's the one I went over. And... Yeah, you can see it's got a quite a nice little harbour, a few yachts, well, sailboats, not really yachts. It goes into this bluff. <laughs> Look at me being all wordsy. <laughs> Impressive. So now imagine you're busy cruising to Laguna Seca or Hockenheim or, 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 you can name pretty much any track. Fuck at Donington, Snetterton. You're just busy cruising along, like, hell yeah. I'm cool. I'm going to do a track day. Yeah. And then you realize you were on, already on a track of some sort that was built in 1936. This is it. They used to race on this. I'm assuming the pavement wasn't there. And they might have had like a catch fence or something. And then you get, yeah, and it's like, oh, okay, there's the racetrack, cool. Wonder where it goes. Like, ah, oh, fuck. It's right fucking here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go dump my bag. Actually, fuck it, I'm not going to dump my bag. I don't trust racing drivers. See ya. Now for a lap of the course.
you know, when I originally came to the track, I came through on this road and I spotted the curve stones and I was like, hmm, interesting. That's Copacabana. That's a really lucky house. Front row seats to every single race track or race event until they crash into his house. But that shouldn't really happen. Like, I really need to watch this bike. Taking the rat to the extreme. And to stop people from racing, this is what they do. No, my bike doesn't have ABS, so I don't know why it's doing that. So, I mentioned the lines for modern day racing, those are the lines. <laughs> We've got a series here called, well, West Bank Modifieds, whatever it's called now. Basically our super saloons, uh, V8 supercars, that type of thing. And when they come down to break, they aren't allowed crossing that line so it encourages overtaking call me a pussy all of that um, because I'm not really gunning it around the track but I've still got about 3,000 4,000 k's to go on this trip I really don't want to burn this bike That was really, really fun. Yep, 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 yep. Ah. Ooh, big boom smash. Bumpers everywhere. Oof. t bird Volvo fucked. Come, dude. Hey. Ouch. Check that shit out! It's a giant pineapple! I mean, how cool is that? That's a giant fucking pineapple. Right there. And there's pineapple plants all over. Yeah, experimental station. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if that could do anything bad. Fucking things ripping apart. 